and have said my father bought two tables from the carpenter what is your sentence that's my my example please don't leave me alone come in and we share my dear friends do I have any caller online? Any caller online? No. Whether from Mbarara, any place, or over the nation, even outside Uganda, you can call in. We are learning. Okay, okay. Let us go on. Let us go on to the next slide. Please come in, come in, and I talk to you, I speak to you. So these are the tools, these are the tools used in carpentry. Before we go further, oh, they have already given the name. Before we go further, that tool you see there is used by a carpenter. And that tool is called hammer. It's called hammer. And the word hammer is spelled as H-A-M-M-E-R. The word is hammer. And the word hammer is used one is used to drive nails into the wood is used for heating nails even removing nails after putting the nails in the wood you can use the hammer to bring them out of the wood if you want to heat the nail to drive the nail into the wood you can use a hammer then you heat the nail into the wood so the word we use there is driving the nail into the wood. So that is the first tool. That's the first tool used by the carpenter. And when you go in the workshop, when you ask the carpenter for the hammer, we'll show you that, please, my friend, the hammer is here. Okay. Let us now look at the sentence. Uh, used. Uh, we are going to use the word hammer in the sentence. And remember, hammer, hammer is both the word hammer is both a noun, which means the name. It is a name. At the same time, a verb, which means it is an action word. Or can say it is a doing word. Hello. The word hammer is a name. And the word hammer is a verb. So, we have already known the, name, the noun. Now, what about a verb? For the verb, we can say, if you are doing it now, I will say, Emma is hammering. So, this one is the progressive tense. Doing it at that very time. If I'm doing it at that very time and you are seeing me do it, so, I'm um, hammering. If I did it maybe yesterday, maybe I did it uh, last night, I would say, I hammered. This is the past simple tense of hammer. If I have just done it now, few minutes ago, few seconds ago, I would say, I have or she has hammered. So this one is the present perfect tense. Now, if you can decide to use had hammered, when you say had hammered, it means that you did it some time ago, but few, maybe a few hours ago, and it has stopped. This one it can be in the progressive form. When it is maybe still continuing, but you did it some few minutes ago, and maybe it has just stopped. But this one you did it and it stopped maybe some time ago. Then you say, I had hammered. Now, dear friends, I'd like you to call in and consult for misunderstandings using the word hammer, according to what I've explained. Yes? Let me hear from... Uh, a good friend of mine calling and he consult for me using the word hammer. Yes. Calling, calling. Then I, I, I would like to get a sentence from you. At least use the word hammer in the sentence. I've given you my example. Yes. Hello. 
Any call on line? Hello, my dear friend. Hello. I'm ready to listen to you. Hello. You can speak to me. Hello. Okay, let us continue. Let us continue. Uh, still, I will talk to you. Continue to trying. I know the network issue is the, the one challenging you. But we shall continue talking to you. Okay. Now, my dear friends, let us now continue and look at another tool. Let us look at another tool used by a carpenter in a workshop. Let us look at another tool. Yes. We have another tool used in carpentry. Another tool is there. You can see them. That is what we call a saw. And the saw is, it has different, different, different shapes. As you can see, we have this one and also different colors. So, so is also a noun. When it is one, it is a so. When there are very many, there are souls. Maybe two, three, as they are there. Those are souls because they are two. The word so also can be a verb, a doing word. A saw can mean to cut. To cut. To cut something. So, when you are using it as a verb, we can say, uh, sewing. I am sewing the wood. It means that you are cutting the wood using a saw. Next, you can say, the wood yesterday. It means that you cut the wood using a saw yesterday. Then also you can say, I have sword. I have sword. Good. I have sword the wood. It means that you have cut the wood. And the word is saw, dear friends, to just S A. W. I have my first sentence there. The carpenter kept his hammer. Okay. The carpenter kept. So now the second one. I have sawed the wood in halves. It means that you have cut the wood in halves. And in, in the second sentence, we have used the present perfect tense to meet in, in constructing the sentence. And we have used sword as a verb. Another word to mean is so when you are using it as a verb is cut. Okay. Do I have any, any, any call on the line to give me also the sentence, another sentence, using the word so? Any call on the line? Or any person who has, who has sent on WhatsApp a sentence using any of the vocabulary, any of the, of the words you have used? Do I have any caller online? Let me hear from a caller. Give her a sentence using the word so. Remember, this is an interactive lesson. I'm not supposed to speak alone. You are free to come in and speak to me. Okay? Okay. I still I will get back to you. Let us continue to the next slide. Continue to the next slide. Let us continue to the next slide. Okay. We have tools used in carpentry. Now, you can see the tool that lady is handling or is holding. And also the other tool, they are the same. They perform the same function. So that tool is called hand drill. It's called hand drill. The one you see the lead is holding, it is electric. It uses power. It uses electricity. Now the one in the middle 
that one is it is used manually it means that you can use you can hold using your hand and you hold in the middle there then you start ro rotating it around as it it, put, it, 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 it it puts the holes in the wood so you do it manually and it is called yes let me, let me have a caller on the line hello hello my dear friend hello my dear hello? friend hello sorry sorry hello my dear friend Please consider the sentence using the word so. I need to answer. Yes, please speak. Hello. Okay, we. I'll, 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 I'll be back to you. I'll be back to you. Don't get worried. I'll be back to you. Keep on trying. Okay, we look. We we'll go to the next. Uh, we are look. We are talking about the the tool hand drill, and you have seen the tool hand drill. Let me show you a sentence using the word hand drill. Let's go to the next slide. The sentence using the word hand drill. Oh, the hand drill at the same time can be called the drill or drill. So drill, the sentence I've given it is it is the drill was used to make holes in the wood. So drill there is being used as a noun. The drill was used to make holes in the wood. Thank you. We got another tool. We got another tool used by the carpenter in carpentry. Another slide. Okay. We have another, another tool there. Another tool is there. And that tool, that tool is called plane. Now, dear friends. The WhatsApp line, I would like to remind you, the WhatsApp line is here. It is 0789-07777. I repeat, 0789-07777. So you can send in your answers, your responses, or your questions. Okay, so I've given the sentence using the word drill. Now we're on the word plane. The word, the, the plane is used to smooth the wood. The plane is used to smooth the wood. Plane is also a noun at the same time, a name, at the same time is also a verb. And for noun, it is just a tool used to smooth. My dear friends, some of you are fond of using the word smoothening. Smoothening, these are different verbs. They are different verbs, meaning the same. But here, I'm not using this one. I'm using this verb smooth. And when you are writing the continuous form of smooth, you just say smoothing. The everyday tense will be smooth. You just add letter S. When you did it yesterday or in the morning, you just say smooth. So a plane is used to smooth the wood, the surface of the wood to be smooth. Okay? As I said, plane is also a verb. You can say, I planed the wood yesterday or I am planing. The wood now. Okay. Now let us look at the sentence. Some of the example of a sentence I have for you today. Uh, this example of a sentence I have for you today. Okay. Jane used the plane to smooth the plank. Now, there we are using plane as a verb. The second one is Jabra planed the bench. So that we are using plane as a doing word. So, Jabra planed the bench. So, that one we are using it as a verb. The first one, we are using it as a noun. And plane went is one. When there are many, 
you just add letter S. Planes. Okay. Uh, do I have any colon line? Do I have any colon line? Okay. Let us continue to another tool. Let's continue to another tool. And I, I, I think you are enjoying the lesson. You are learning. We have another tool there used by the carpenter or used in carpentry. It's called screwdriver. Screwdriver. Now, friends, screwdriver, first of all, is one word. Never separate it. And screwdriver, it is a tool used by the carpenter to tighten the screws. For example, if you have your chair and the screws which they use to tighten it, maybe they are loose, you can use the screwdriver to tighten them. We can also use the screwdriver maybe in the vehicle, maybe a motorcycle. When the screws are loose, you can use the screwdriver to tighten the, the, the screws. So, that one is called, called the screwdriver. And that's what, that, that's the screw, those are the screwdrivers. They are in different shapes. They are in different colors. They are, they are used in different ways. They are used in different parts, maybe of the chair, of the, of the vehicle, but performing the same function. Let us have the example of the sentence there. The example of the sentence. Oh, okay. Jane used the screwdriver to tighten the screws in her chair. So their screwdriver, I've used it as a noun. And remember, this one is just a noun. Screwdriver is just a noun. It is not, it is not a Hello? verb. It is just a noun. Okay, let us move on to the next one. Let's move to the next one. The next one is there. It is just chisel. It's called chisel. Now, the chisel is there. It is used for carving. Maybe if you have made your, your furniture, your table, and like to carve, you can use a chisel for carving. To cut and you carve. You make a carve in your furniture. And let us look at the, 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 exam, the sentence of use. The sentence for that. Okay. Jonathan used a chisel to make the calves of the table. Some of you already see the calves on the table. Yes. Those calves are made by made using the chisel. They're made by the carpenter when he gets the chisel from his toolbox and makes the calves on that table. Thank you. We got another another tool. Another tool. We got another tool. Please prepare and uh, be ready. I'll give you a time and opportunity to call in and speak to me. Okay. We have the materials now used in the carpentry. Friends, we have been looking at the tools used by the carpenter. Used in the workshop. Now, what are the materials used in the carpentry? We have the first material there. That material is called wood. Wood. And it is a noun. And that one, wood, remains wood. You don't say woods. It remains wood. So, let us have the sentence using that word, wood. Let me show you an example. Then I will allow you to call in if you are online. Allow you to, to call in and consider for us a sentence. He bought enough wood to make the furniture needed. He bought enough wood to make the furniture needed. Okay. So, wood, even the villages. When I grew up in the village, and we used to construct houses using wood. You go in the forest, you get some wood, but remember you cut one. Those days they used to tell us you cut one and you plant three. You cut some, some even our father used to tell us you cut one and even plant ten. It was like a punishment, but it was good for conserving the environment. So, we used to get the wood, and after getting the wood, you come and construct your house. And you used to be comfortable in your house as young as you were. So, that, that is what we call the wood. And that's the, one of the materials used by the carpenter in the workshop to make the chairs, to make the tables, to make the, the desks, the desks to sit on at school, to make the, 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 to make the wardrobes, to, to make everything made out of wood. Even for roofing the house, the timber, we use the wood. We get them from the wood. Okay, we look at another material. Another material? Yes, another material. I'm very happy. Do you know why I'm happy? Because you are following the lesson. 
You are learning something today. You have brought the classroom. You have brought the classroom in your in your in your home. We have brought the classroom at your at your home in your village. So don't stand up now. No corona, COVID. No, the lessons are here. We have another material used in the carpentry. It is called plank. Say plank. Plank. And plank is a noun. Plank is a noun. When it is one, it is plank. When there are very many, the plural form. There are planks. And friends, these planks are got from wood. The carpenter gets them, they gets the wood and cuts the planks from the wood. Those planks are used in different ways. Those planks are used to make benches. Those planks are used to make the, the, the desks. Those planks are used to make, even, even for making doors. Some of us in the villages we have, even in town, we make doors. They join those planks and come up with a door. Okay. Let us now we'll have a sentence using the word plank. The sentence using the word plank. Yes. Let me have a sentence. Okay. We use the plank to cross the dish. Wonderful. Some of in the villages, even in town, when, when you have a dish, maybe in the road where you pass, you bring the plank and put it across. Then you step on it to go the other side or to cross the, the trench. You use the plank. Okay. We have another, we have another, let us have another, another, another material. Let's have another material used by the carpenter in the workshop. Okay, the material, another material is there is a varnish. It's called varnish. And that one there, you can see it is used for varnishing. Now, friends, I want you to take care of these words. The word varnish, first of all, it is a noun. At the same time, which means a liquid. It is a liquid used for varnishing. For, for making the, 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 table, the table or the surface of the timber shine. When you apply the varnish, the surface of the timber will shine. And you will admire it from a far distance. Okay. Also, can be used as a verb. Can say, I am varnishing. It means that you are applying that liquid to make your surface shine. Then you say, I varnished. I vanished the table. Or the carpenter vanished the table. Now, also we have another word which is pronounced the same way as this one. It is vanish without R. This one has R. This one doesn't have R. Now, friends, don't confuse these words because in the people of English, I, we, I may bring for you and I say, Construct meaningful sentences using this word to show the difference in their meaning. I give you vanish and I give you vanish. This vanish means to disappear. This one means to disappear. So it is not a word used in the in carpentry. For today we are talking about this one. But this one means to disappear. And they are homophones or words which are pronounced in the same way. Okay. Now let us have a sentence using the word vanish. This first one here with R. The carpenter bought four tins of vanish. Uh huh. The another, the now that one is used as a noun, as a verb. She vanished the furniture yesterday. That one is being used as a doing word. Okay, let us look at another material. Another material. Another material. Yes. Now we have another one there. So dust. Can you repeat after me? So dust. So dust. Now that so dust, that one, when you go in the workshop, you'll find the so dust in the workshop. When the carpenter is planing the wood, those things that fall off the wood is what we call the so dust. And that the sawdust, we have, we have used it as a noun. It is used as it is a noun. It is not a verb. It is a noun. It is the name of something. The name of the things found in the workshop. 
It doesn't have, have a sentence using the word sawdust. The sentence, Juma collected all the sawdust from the workshop and burnt it. Remember, sawdust is a noun and it's uncountable. You cannot start, start counting the sawdust. So it remains sawdust, whether singular or plural. Okay, let us now go on to another one. Another, another, another one. Let us go to another material. We go to another material. Okay. Now, dear friends, this one has become our last material, but there are very many. Now, you can also visit the workshop and find out some of the, the words, some of the materials, and some of the, some of the tools used by the carpenter. But because of time, we have managed to bring to you those ones. But you can go on and make research. You go to the carpenter and ask the carpenter, please, you, you start by greeting. Good morning, sir. Please don't say good morning, carpenter. Some people don't. The tools and the material, then they will tell you. So we have an activity here. We have an activity here. The next slide. Okay, activity. Now, we are going to look at making a table. We are going to explain the process of making a table. Which materials and tools do we need? What would you use each of the tools or materials for in the process of making a table? That's our activity. And you are going to do it now. I'm going to allow you call in now. You tell us, we, we tell, you explain the process of making a table. Let me have the caller. At least this time I, do, I would like to hear from you. You are going to explain to us the process of making a table to us. Which materials and tools do we need? What would you use each of the tools you have mentioned or you are going to mention for in the process of making a table? Let me get a caller. I know in the villages there in the town, everywhere you are, you always see the carpenter making those chairs. Let's go back to the, next, the previous slide. You already see that? Let me have a caller calling in and you tell us the, the process of making the chair. Do you have a call online? Hello? Hello, my dear friend? Yes! Welcome, my dear friend. What's your name? We can use a plan. Thank you, thank you very much. We shall use the plank. But I would like to know your name. David. Wow, David, welcome. Now, what do we use? How do you make a chair? Please explain to us. David. Yes. Please, please explain to us how do we make how do we how do we make a chair? What are the processes? What is the process and what are the materials used? We can use a plank. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, David. Thank you very much. Okay. We use a soap. Yes, thank you. To cut the plank. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, David. Let me hear an, uh, let me hear another person. And you let you me bring David. Okay, let me hear another person. That is that has that has been David. David, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please that you are following up my lesson. Okay, let me get another caller. Hello, my dear friend. Hello, my dear friend. Hello. Oui. Hello. Yes, good morning. Hello. Okay, sorry, sorry for the for the network issues. If you have to call, call in, switch off your, your TV and call in, then I'll listen to you. Yes, hello online, somebody online. Hello. Yes, good Hello? morning. Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Okay, sorry, sorry for that. So let me get let me get another person. Hello. 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 Okay, now my dear friends, you have the WhatsApp number there. You can write down the process of making the chair, then you send in. Hello. Let me have the, the last caller. Hello. 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 Yes, good morning. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. I can hear you. Please speak to us. What are the what is the process of making a chair? Hello? I can hear you. Please go on. Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Okay. Thank you very much. I, I think it has been a network challenge. I would, I would like to appreciate you. I appreciate you for uh, participating. But I would remind you that this lesson has been brought to you by NCDC together, together with UNESCO. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. The next lesson is coming on. I would like to remind you, please put, observe the measures of COVID-19 of, 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 of COVID put by the Minister of Health. That's why I'm putting back my mask so that I can be safe. Bye-bye. We meet next time. Osawula kubanga walio ulide kuchokwe wa webanga. Chino chitegeza kuleka wechifu bachidamba okufa kubanto bakuliranyi okendeza kunsasanya ya kauka kakolona. Na inga rachi chetakisa. E watali kwe wa webanga omuntu alina kauka asawula kusasanya kubanto abalababili obaba satu. Atene bano nebakongira yo kubanto abalababili.